Okay, hello everyone. This is Cynthia. And as you can see, I've got a really weird looking thing going on here. Um, I like the vellum, vellum stuff. And well, you know, it's great to have um, vellum. I just, it, it's cool, it's neat, and uh, I, I like it lots. So, I was trying to see what else can I do and turn it into vellum. Looking faux, faux vellum. We'll call it faux, faux vellum. Alright, so, right, I have a piece of math paper. And I've got some other things here off camera. But in case someone has not seen this, um, I know there are other videos out there. Um, and you can um, uh, search faux vellum. And, um, or faux tracing paper, you know. Okay. Well, I am... I decided, okay, I've got the, the, the baby oil, all right? Um, I also have a lawn, uh, Skin So Soft, the bath oil spray. And I was like, I wonder. And um, so I love the smell of this stuff. But I, I don't use it very often. I don't use it in, you know, um, bath. Okay, so I was like, I wonder if this will work. It's oil. So, guess what? Look at this. This is not going to be a real long video. Okay, so it does take off some of the, the color. But trust me, it looks really nice or good, cool, awesome, whatever adjectives you want to use there. And what I, this is, this is all I do. I've got one of those, I've got the, the cheap cotton rounds that, you know, you get at the Dollar Tree. And you can get baby oil at the Dollar Tree. So it's not like you're going about um, getting expensive you know products and now this that I have behind me that I was protecting my mat with I will show you I have this I thought I bought some and forgot all about it this is of course Walmart um, it's uh, butcher paper pink butcher paper Reynolds kitchen um, I'm not sponsored, <laughs> but, um, I, you know, got it at Walmart. It's 75 square feet, um, 18 inches wide. Okay. So this is going to go a long way, you know, and you can use it to protect your surface. Um, <laughs> Protect your surface, cook, you know, all kinds of things. Anyway, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I can put that down while I'm working on this. Protect my surface a little bit. And then use it afterwards, you know. Um, it's not like the oil is going to to hurt my, my, uh, mat, but I was like, man, eh, I'm just going to make it a little bit easier to clean up, right? Okay, that is, eh, it's not really as good as I'd like it. Anyway, I did try doing it with the, uh, Skin So Soft and half of a piece. I've been, you know, I've done a few pieces already. Um, you know, and oh, using the skin so soft on half and then using the baby oil on the other half. And they 
they look the same. Okay? Just making sure I've got, you know, all these areas here. Oh. Okay. It looks like I got it pretty good. Now, I'm just going to take, yeah, looks fine. Awesome. I have a head. <laughs> I had a rag. Where'd it go? Oh, well, oh, well. Did my wipe rag go? Well, hold on a second while I go. Find me another rag. Because I had it, you know, so I wipe my hands off and stuff. I'm coming right back. I got it. I got one. All right. <sighs> I lose my head if it wasn't attached. Uh, I use this for paint too. Okay. So uh, afterwards, I just I get a little bit of the extra off this way, and then I'm going to I'm going to let this dry now. That's the thing. Um, you got to think ahead. If you want want some faux vellum immediately, this is not the thing to do. Okay, because you really you really want it to to dry uh, uh, first, because it's you know it's filmy and it's and it's and you can feel it. it feels really nice, but. If you put this onto something else, it could um, leach. The the um, oils are going to leach into whatever else you're you're putting it on. Okay, so I have I have some that I've put in a put in a container over here, and uh, I just did this one. We just did this one together. Now, this year is um, scrapbook paper. Out of your, uh, this is from a 120 or 180 pack. Um, so this is. See, you can see through it. You, you can. Um, let me get you. Ah, here we go. See. That's pretty good right there, right? Okay, so you've got that. I've got this one made. I've got another piece of the map paper done. And then I thought, this is what, what got me thinking. Um, washi tape. Well, I've got, I've got some washi tape. I do, it's not like I don't have washi tape, but you know, faux washi tape a lot of the digi creators are making really pretty faux washi okay and so this is on sticker paper and look at that this uh right here is um faux washi from um um um, um who is she oh yeah 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 it is a chapter one faux washi, and I have printed it on sticker paper. So, I have this, and it's just, it looks so pretty. I can't wait. I can't wait to use this. And you can, you can see through it. I, I don't know if you can, can on the video. I'm trying to see through my my camera. And of course, you know, you know your camera things say yeah. Uh, <laughs> half of the camera is, is uh blocked by the the uh, holder. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you here's here's more of that. 
um, for washi. And I'm going to do, I'm just going to do another one here. I'm going to do this and whoa, we're going to put a good amount of oil down. Uh, you could buy just regular mineral oil. And I think that's what they, what you'll find at um, the Dollar Tree. Now, I have, I just have an inkjet printer. I just have. It is an Epson EcoTank. And um, that's, that's the um, ink that, that I'm rubbing this over. And you can see it's not coming off. I had a lot more ink coming off the uh, map. And the uh, scrapbook paper so this doesn't take a whole lot almost I almost have this one finished okay I had already used some off from this. But if you want a piece of washi, the washi, fake washi, <laughs> um, pretend washi. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this. Um, and you need something to go with a project that maybe you have, you know, you you have some washi, but the washi you have just doesn't look right with your with your project. Then make you some faux washi tape. Okay, so it's. See, that did not take any time at all. Okay. And oh, you can even tell with the with the sticker back. And this is just a this is premium uh label. Um it's I don't know if that's supposed to be an S or a B. Anyway, premium labels and it's full full page sheets that I found on Amazon. And uh, that's what I've, I'm using. And you can see, see my, my hand through it? I don't know. I think you can. All right. So that's another, another piece. Now, like I said, I would definitely, and the others that I have done, which I have here, I will show you. Um, I have, I have made, made more, and it's like, oh, now this I, I printed out on just regular, regular, um, uh, paper, copy paper, okay, and they turn out so nice, these, uh, this is, uh, my porch prints, um, some of her butterflies that I've done, and they turned out beautiful, uh, I've done some black and white ones that she's, I've, I have played around a lot, with with these well fine um and then i use i'm using them for my um uh, <laughs> collage clusters on on the tissue paper and uh, then those will go on to now see this is an actual Tim Holtz um, piece of the 
the uh, vellum. Now, yes, this is a little heavier, but they look beautiful. Um, and now for the for the tray uh, for the tracing paper. Hold on, I'll show you. This is um this pack I got off Amazon. I cannot tell you. I just I googled or uh, searched um, vellum on Amazon, and this is a um, pack that that I got, and I think it's like a hundred pieces. Might only be fifty, but it's a lot. Okay, now my tracing pad that I used is uh, the Master's Touch Fine Art. Um. Ten ninety nine. Um, I believe I got this at. I live in Washington State, so Craft Warehouse is a um, chain here in on the West Coast, and I got that, I believe, there. Um, but you can get tracing paper at um, your craft stores. Okay, I have looked at Walmart, and I cannot find it there. Um, now, this, I have not been able to find again. I'm glad I bought like three or four packs at the same time. This is, um, but you could go on to um, right here. It's made in the USA. Um, right there, www.pacon.com, Pack Corporation, Appleton, Wisconsin, okay, and what's nice about this, um, is this is a nice tracing paper that is not, it's not real heavy. And I, I do my stamping on this for the images that I then put onto my premium tracing paper. Um, I don't know if you can still get this on hot off the press, but pastel vellum papers, I have not looked in a long time. I had gotten this at the Goodwill, um, but... At one time, I know they carried a lot of different vellums, and this is, is the colored vellum. Um, so, look around, find what you like, um, and if you can't find something that you really like, try making some for yourself. So, I'm going to finish up getting this all colored in. And you use the skin so soft, and you're gonna smell good too. Um, the the uh, smell will evaporate over time. So if you don't like the skin so soft, let it. Um, you know, and somebody, you know, you should. Uh, if you're selling a journal and you've used the skin so soft, make sure that you have said that you made your own faux vellum. And used it, and some of uh, the the smell may come from the skin so soft. Some people have allergies to smells. Please be conscious of that. Uh, thank you. I am going to sign off for right now. This is just a short little uh, video to help people with wanting faux vellum. Thank you all. Subscribe. I hope you. Uh, leave a comment and i'm up to 30 uh 36 37 i'm just under 40 subscribers come on help me help me get some subscribers please share the video uh bye for now have a wonderful wonderful week bye